Today, in my today's update on my research blog, I, am, I continue reviewing the literature which I judge pertinent uh, to the general topic of uh, behavioral economics and the behavioral experiments with economic decisions. So today, I am prancing a little bit between various sources. Uh, I went as far back as to Charles Darwin to his book published in 1873, not the one on evolution of the species, but the one of the expression of emotions. Uh, he did a, li a little bit of research on, on this one too. And one interesting thing which I found uh, with Darwin is that uh, some functions or some functional resources that all the organisms or the so all the social organisms have uh, are developed specifically for communication and for assuring social cohesion. And so, according to Darwin, our facial muscles are mostly developed in order to assure communication. Of course, the capacity of closing our mouth is useful in many cases, but uh, the role of our facial muscles is, is mostly communicative. And uh, so there is a the theoretical path that in social structures, each of us develops a range of personal resources which are made exclusively for assuring social cohesion. Uh, this makes me jump to Thurston Veblen and to his uh, theory of leisure class. So I developed a little bit uh, a little pool of ideas connected to that, to that Veblen's con conjecture that uh, in uh, developed societies most of the resources we accumulate are functionally oriented on assuring uh, ourselves a place in the social hierarchy and on assuring some kind of social cohesion. And finally uh, I, did a, I, I made a little jump to the so-called Brunswickian theory of confidence, to the works of Gerd Gigerenzer, a German scientist. A very interesting theory of mental models which more or less indicates that mm, overconfidence is not as frequent in our decisions as uh, we sometimes tend to think. According to the work of Gerd Gigerenzer, um, we frequently make in our decision making, quite intuitively, very, very fine distinctions. Uh, the kind of distinctions that a mathematician would do, or a scientist like me would do. Uh, we all make those distinctions quite intuitively. And those distinctions are based, to an important extent, on our long-term memory about our environment. Uh, and this, in turn, leads me to some hypothesizing regarding our life in the smart cities of the future. Uh, if our technological environment changes at an increasing pace, and if, as Gigerenzer says, our long-term memory about environment as an, is an important factor of our decisions, the faster our environment changes, the less reliable is our knowledge that we use to make economic de decisions. It is interesting because it more or less states that in an environment made of a lot of smart digital technologies, we are likely to be pretty dumb in our economic choices. Anyway, you can read more on my research blog today. Bye. I wish you a nice reading.